Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. This will be a real short video. I just got finished building or putting together the uh, automated watering system, uh, gravity fed for this greenhouse. And so let's flip the camera around really quick and I'll show it to you. Okay, so here we are in the greenhouse, as you can see on each of the 15 foot long uh, Mitlider garden beds, I have, uh, that's actually three quarter inch thin walled or 200 PSI uh, regular standard PVC pipe. And um, along, e I'll show you when I turn on the water, along each of the bottom of the pipe, I drilled just tiny holes. I'll put on the screen the size of drill bit that I used. So I drilled three holes every, every four inches. Um, one that'll point straight down and the other two pointing 45 degrees off um, to the right and to the left. You'll see what I mean when I turn on the water. Um, and that's to water the plants under the leaf level um, so that the leaves have less problem with fungus and disease. Um, it's better to do that than to be uh, watering on top of the leaves because that causes problems. And if you want to know all the specifics about how to build a mitt lighter automatic watering system, except for the part about the gravity fed barrels, that's my, that part was my design. Um, but the rest of it is all uh, explained in, in specific detail in the mitt lighter uh, gardening book. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll put a link below this video just so that you can check that out if you're interested. And in a future video, um, when I, I'll, you can see I have the automatic watering system out there on the garden as well. In a video really soon, I'm going to be show you, showing you everything I've done out there in the garden, and I'll also show you that uh, automatic watering system as well. So um, anyway, I've got those in there. Now I want to talk about why I did this gravity fed. I don't have water uh, run out here to this greenhouse, and so I had to be able to store some water um, here. Um, this, like I said, this greenhouse will stay above freezing probably around 40, 45 degrees in the coldest part of the winter um, because I'll have the, the fan running, pumping the warm air from, from underground. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, with this, this isn't a lot of water, so I will have to get a hose and fill this up, you know, every probably about once a week, um, but that's better than doing it every day. So anyway, that's that's how I designed that. Uh, these rain barrels just have a normal uh, uh, three-quarter inch uh, female, you know, threads on there that I, I was able to just screw the three-quarter inch uh, adapter right into that, and so works pretty slick. So as you can see in here, let's see, if I can show you um, in there, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the water in there. I've got them filled up um, pretty good right now. So let's turn it on. I've got an on-off valve here for the whole thing. And I've got this one already on over here. So we'll show you this one first. It takes just a minute for the pipe to fill up. There you go. So you can get uh, full pressure. You can probably hear that. My holes are not perfectly aligned, but you can see how there's there's one coming off here, one going more straight down, and then one going off. So the whole bed gets watered from the center. Now with the mitt lighter uh, weekly feed that I'll be putting on there, I'll sprinkle it right under that line, and then that way I'll do that right before I water it, and that way since the the weekly feed is all water soluble. Um, that water will dissolve it and put it right into the soil where the plants can use it. So once I finish this bed, then I just turn that valve off and turn this one here on and I water that bed. I don't have enough water pressure to do both uh, beds at a time. Now to talk about how much to water these, having the raised uh, beds like this where the t the bottom of the raised bed is right at on top sitting on top of the ground 
Um, it's really impossible to overwater your garden um, because water will seep under the edge of the raised bed. Um, where I have sawdust in here, that might be hard for me to see. So I may need to scrape that away from the edge of the bed a little bit. But that's the beauty of, of this system is um, basically what you're supposed to do is water it enough that some of the water starts leaking under the edges of the bed and then you know that that bed is adequately watered. So let's turn this off real quick. And then we'll turn this one over here on. In just a second, the pressure will fill the pipe up and you'll be able to see it going. So hopefully you can see those little sprays coming out of the pipe, one straight down and then 145 degrees off to each side. So, I mean, after testing watering these, um, like I said earlier, um, I think these barrels should last me about a week. I'll have to um, fill them up once a week, which won't be that bad in the winter. I'll do, I have a garden hose I keep in the garage where it's above freezing. And uh, I had to fill up uh, about once a month the automatic watering system for the chickens and rabbits and it was no big deal. I just uh, pulled it out, hooked it to the hose, turned it on, filled it up, uh, turned it off when I was done, drained the hose out really quick, rolled it up and put it back in the garage. So, Okay, well I hope that was interesting. I appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. Again, please don't forget to share this on your social media or email it to anybody that's uh, self-reliance or emergency preparedness minded that really helps us grow the channel and also if you like this kind of content we'd love to have you subscribe and like in the video that really helps us with the google algorithm again thanks so much talk to you in the next video